What's up everyone? Welcome to the 23rd of February vlog part 2. Hope you guys have seen part 1. If you haven't seen part 1, I'm going to put a card right here. I don't know where I'm going to put it but you should check it out first. Now we shall check out part 2 and you shall see the whole Chingay festival in its full glory. Without further ado, here is part 2. That's right guys, we are here, we are finally here, that's right, that's right, look at the decoration, awesome, guys check this out man, the crown man, the crown, look at that man, look at that, look at that crown bro, that's the place that you'll see all the event, the whole chingue thing, it's towards that side, and there, it's the crown. Do you guys see that penguin just now? It reminded me of Happy Feet. Alright guys, look who I found. The, God, the Lord of Fortune. The God of Fortune. That's right. That's the God of Fortune. Oh, finally here. Six stars and 500 local and international performers right here tonight. 150 people. Oh my god, guys. It just, on just your rained. Computer. And the seats are wet. Right on your computer. It's all wet. And I'm gonna clean it up. I just set up the whole damn seat. And the thing looks like this. And you can enjoy all this and win some prizes. Okay. Get a good dance footage, a time lapse dance footage. But they were all just looking at the other side. The other side. They're not looking at us. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys the situation right now. Away and me basically we are sitting at the front row and we can't see anything at all. So we'll be looking for some place up up above to sit. So right now we have a new seat and it's awesome. The view here is great. It's way better, way, way, way better. Turn out to the uncle, he help us to take out the cloth and clean the seat. They say they want to do the wave again, I refuse to do anything of that. Guys, look at all the beautiful costumes out there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, so later on, we're going to go live on television. So please make sure you smile. Don't think you're just in the background, we can't see you. If not, on the day that it's telecast, you'll be like, okay. Okay, right now, there are so many beautiful costumes out there. So many beautiful costumes. Alright, are you ready? I want to go down there and take a time lapse. No, because I stood up. You guys can see the whole view from here.
is made from a 3D printer. later. Oh man guys, let me tell you something man. Coming out from Chingay is like coming out from a from a club with like with like loud music. My ears are ringing all over. So so right now it's raining. I'm not going to film anything now. Now we're just going to go back to our shelter and I can talk to you guys about anything about Chingay and my my thoughts about it. You guys can 
see you. It's another bottleneck. You see guys, the, the, the MRT is over there and they, and they blocked the exit here so we can't go, go all the way there directly which is quite which is quite troublesome and I don't really know why Finally we found a place that is quiet enough to talk I think the Chingue thing was great like everything was great generally What do you think? I think it's just a 6 out of 10 I think, I think it was not bad I give it maybe like a 7 out of 10 I think Chingue was great um, you like you, you guys like music, you guys like colourful costumes, you guys are called, sort of like an arts person. You guys should check out Chingue, it's really not bad. Especially the fireworks at the end, it really makes everything super worth it. You know, I think the tickets is like like 50 bucks. Uh, I got it for free, uh, don't ask me how. But I think one main issue that I have with the whole thing is the venue is bad. Like, the seats are positioned in a way that will block you. I think the seats are designed in such a way that if the front person actually stands up, it will block you the, for the rest of the show, which is quite bad. I mean, the seats are arranged very badly. The best seats, right, to have is the one all the way at the back, all the way at the top. That's the best seat to have because you won't be blocked by anyone at all. Okay, so Owen, what do you think about the Chingue? I Chingue would festival. say it's a good experience, but it could have been better. Firstly, the seats are so constrained that we had to shift two times. Yeah, we, we had to shift like two or three times. However, Chingi is just a Singaporean thing and it's mostly catered to the age group 40 to 60, so we understand that. There's a, there's a lot of um, propaganda and Singapore stuff inside. <laughs> to, be, to be straightforward with you guys, opening the door for me thank you thank you oh yeah so one thing i forgot to mention about the chingue festival is if the tickets are actually you actually need to pay for the tickets like there's an amount and, and I, I got it for free so if i didn't get it for free and i was looking into that event i was like trying to get in i definitely wouldn't consider going because just because i i had to pay but it was worth it for a free tickets point of view but if you are an arts person and you are if you are like a cosplay like costume kind of guy you like colors you like designs you like beautiful stuff you should buy that ticket you won't regret it everything there will be so colorful so bright the music is gonna be awesome everything's gonna be pretty good but just make sure to bring uh, uh, extra like cloth or towel or something like that to, to wipe the seats especially when just after it rains and there's water on the seats you gotta be careful of that okay so this is it enough rambling for me um this is the 23rd of february on a friday so i'll see you guys in the next video this is not of thought Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome our guest of honor for tonight, Prime Minister Lee Sin Long and Miss. I think the MC should just shut the hell up. The MC should just shut up. Oh my god, it looks like Tron Legacy. I think it was not bad. Um, I give it, I give it maybe like a seven out of ten. Why, why when I'm recording there is like announcements? Uh.